why are you doing this? Tucker, I'm such a proud Italian American. I think of my grandparents coming over here from Avellino, Italy, learning the laws, learning the language of the United States of America, being proud Americans. My grandparents and my parents always told me, this is America, the greatest country on planet Earth. Learn it, live it, be American, be proud to be an American. The Italian Americans, Tucker, they worked so hard. They've been prejudiced against, and all we did was become doctors and lawyers and business people and engineers and architects, and we've given so much to this country. I'm telling you, those, that statue in Columbus Circle in New York, Tucker, my friend, it ain't coming down. And we are not going down, and neither is that statue. So New York one of, must be one of the only places in the country where anybody's defending a statue. I know. I, it, it, look where we are. Look how great the, the American spirit is in Houston, Texas. If you have the time to tear down a statue, you have too much time on your hands. Get True. to Houston and help those poor people in Texas. Our brothers and our sisters, our fellow citizens. Look where we are. It's political correctness gone awry. And I can't. And that. And also, we are flawed. Is Columbus flawed? Sure, he's flawed. We're all flawed. I'm flawed. Tucker in New Jersey. I have a child at every exit. I'm flawed. What am I going to tell you? You know. I mean. <laughs> Honestly, that's a lot of kids. Yo, Joe, you ran off with the babysitter. Yes, I did. Have you seen her? Okay, I'm flawed. All right, guilty, guilty as charged. But does that mean I'm not going to get a rest stop named after me on the New Jersey Turnpike? After all that, come on. It's <laughs> a good point. I mean, basically, it's an attack on the fundamental legitimacy of America. They're making the argument that no one of European descent should be here in the first place. That's exactly right. And you know, when my grandparents came over here, and I have to tell you, that statue of Columbus Circle in New York was built in honor of the largest lynching, in the mass lynching in American history. And it, you know what it was, Tucker? It was no. Italian Americans in New Orleans in 1891. Oh, there famous. was a public yeah. official killed. They rounded up all the Italians. Yes. They said, oh, who killed that public official? It must have been, and forgive me, I'm such a proud Italian-American, but to drive the point home, it must have been the Dagos. Yeah, yeah, get those Italians. They lynched them, 11. They lynched them, innocent Italian, and they were American citizens. The next year, 1892, they built the Columbus statue in Columbus Circle in New York to honor them. And it was the blue-collar workers, the laborers from Italy that came to become American citizens that got quarters and nickels and dimes and dollars, and they raised the money. It was like the 1800s version of, of a, you know, a, 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 a GoFundMe kind of thing. And now they went in there, they're, now they're going to tear that down. It takes away the tenor the iconic symbol of the Italian-American community, and I think of my grandparents working so hard, learning the language. We didn't protest. We didn't put on masks and, and get violent. We don't hold placards up and say how bad you are. We don't call you racist. We just worked harder and harder as Italian-Americans to help make this country great. We're so proud to be Americans. We gotta stop with the statues. And when now, now, they're gonna tread on the Italian-American community now you got a problem. I can't wait to see de Blasio try this. <laughs> and if he does, we'll send cameras. I know. Can you believe it? And de Blasio's a vowel at the end of his name. Come on. Yeah, he's, he's the worst. Joe Pisquale, thank you.